This tutorial will demonstrate the various features of Social Explorer. With Social Explorer, a researcher can tabulate and map demographic and economic data for individuals and households. Most of the datasets are from the United States Censuses dating back to the first census of 1790 through the latest American Community Surveys. When you first access Social Explorer, you can set up a personal account which will allow you to save your projects. With these buttons, you can select at the beginning whether you want to create a map or a table. If you click Start Now, the default data map that comes up is the map showing population density per square mile from the 2010 census. These buttons let you scan the various surveys available. This button opens the other options and help files. Create a report lets you create a data table from your map. There is a data dictionary to assist you with interpretation, and you can customize your map by adding new layers and annotations. With this button, you can select the geographic level, state, county, city, tract, and block group. Remember, cities, census tracts, and block groups are not available for early censuses. If you want data for cities and you don't see the option here, come talk to a librarian at Michener. Data visualization. How do you want your data displayed on the map? Shaded areas, dot densities, or bubbles? This button splits the screen so you can compare two maps side by side. I'm going to compare county-level data for Weld County and other counties in Colorado from the censuses of 1880 and 1890. On the left side, I'm going to select 1880 census and total population. Then I'm going to change the geography to counties and leave the visualization on bubbles. Zero in on Weld County from 1880. When you hover over a bubble, the county name and data value appears. Now I'm going to change the data set on the right side to the 1890 census. Notice Weld County looks quite a bit different. Between 1880 and 1890, it got carved into seven counties. You can hover over the bubble and see the names of those counties and data values. Don't forget about the customization options under the menu button here. You can add additional labels and layers. When your map is finished, click on the export button. You may save your map as a JPEG image or PowerPoint slide, which can be imported into Word documents or PowerPoint presentations. 